Today I'll show you how to make free easy infinite generators that are early game friendly and perfect for setting up a new survival world. I'm going to show you an infinite water generator useful for builds like this aquarium, an infinite lava generator useful for redstone contraptions and pranks, and an infinite cobblestone generator useful for pretty much everything. Okay, so the first one I'm going to make is this infinite water source. So what you're going to do is dig a 2x2 two two square and place water here and here. And now you have an infinite water source. You can take out as much as you like. Just make sure that you don't take it out too quickly. Otherwise that will happen. But you can just fix it by placing another water bucket. So if you just let me make this look nice. And I've just decorated it a bit made it look like a well so yeah just kind of decorated it so yeah that's the infinite water source done <laughs> So next we're making an infinite lava source. So lava works differently to water in that its source blocks can't just be transported and created and you actually have to place it using a bucket. So in the setup here, similar to an infinite water source, you would break the block to get it flowing into the middle. Um, but when you do this, it just goes down and down and down and eventually you're left with nothing. So you have to use a more complicated technique to get infinite lava. So what you'll do, you'll place your row of cauldrons, however many you want, um, and then you'll go three blocks up, so one, two, three, and along, and you'll place a non-flammable block above the cauldrons with just pointed dripstone, just one in length, underneath. Then you'll make a sort of a container for your lava, like this and you'll place a lava source block on each of the blocks above the drip stones and you should see that now there is lava dripping underneath so now I'm going to upgrade this to make it look a little bit better and you'll see the end result when I'm done okay so I've built the infinite lava source and I've kind of decorated it like a castle made it a bit overgrown so it does take some time to fill up but the more cauldrons, dripstones and lava that you have the um, more the quicker it will be so you can have more lava at once so I've just added some magma back here but you don't have to do this obviously for all of the designs you can just you could just leave it plain but I just decided to decorate it a bit more <laughs> Okay, so finally we're going to make the infinite cobblestone generator. So this is a simple generator, and not like any of those big ones you see online, you know, with TNT dupers hooked up to storage systems that make thousands an hour. Nothing like that, it's just a simple one to get you started in your survival world. So what you're going to do, you're going to dig a five block, one block deep trench like this. One, two, three, four, five. And on the third block, you're going to dig down by one. Then you're going to place water at this end and lava at this end and it will make cobblestone. You can mine it and more cobblestone and more and more. And this design actually prevents against making obsidian. Now I'm just going to decorate it and then I'll show you the finished result. I'll, no, I'll now show you the finished result. As you can see, I've just built a small factory building around it, giving it some detail, but you don't have to do this. You could just have this simple on its own, but I just want to add some detail and kind of make it, you know, blend in with the world. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. So you can click here to subscribe and here to watch more of these videos. This Minecraft tutorials thing is a new series I'll be starting on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.